And that's where the issue of mobile homes come in. Uh, FEMA usually supplies those temporary mobile units for displaced storm victims. So where are they? Chris Six News reporter Ashley Portillo spoke with the people who need them and the people who are supposed to provide them. She joins us now in the studio with the story. Stephania, FEMA, the General Land Office, and the Coastal Bend Council of Governments are working on it, but so far only a few have been distributed. In Aransas County, one of the hardest hit areas, only 15 households have received one. It's been about 10 weeks since Harvey hit the coastal bend and many hurricane victims still live in storm damaged homes or have no home at all. FEMA, the General Land Office and the Coastal Bend Council of Governments are trying to help, but for storm victims, it's been a slow response. FEMA, in my opinion, has failed a lot of people. They have a, a big job on their hand. And it is a big job. That's why it's being handled by three agencies. FEMA buys the trailers and determines who is eligible. Then the GLO submits requests to FEMA. From there, they are handed down the line to fill requests from the Council of Government. Then they hand over the homes to families. This assembly line process was meant to speed things up, but those at Rockport Relief Camp who have been sleeping in tents since Harvey hit feel it's not working. And with winter quickly approaching, a FEMA trailer would go a long way for any of the people here at Rockport Relief Camp. If they can find a home for everybody that doesn't have a home, that would be, I would feel very good about that. FEMA and GLO representatives defend the process, saying mobile homes are being distributed in a more effective and efficient manner. Meanwhile, people like Jones will have to wait out these chilly nights in a tent. It's going to be a tough winter. And, you know, yes, there's days I just want to go home. I don't have a home. Now, FEMA says they have just over 1,600 units that are ready to go to families. In studio for Chris 6 News, Ashley Portillo.